Carnivorous plants have fascinated not only naturalists, but society in general, since the last third of the 19th century, when Charles Darwin showed that they indeed feed on trapped insects. Carnivory is certainly a rare phenomenon in plants. It occurs in only 800 of the nearly 370,000 angiosperm species known on Earth. From all carnivorous plants, Drosophilum lusitanicum is very likely the rarest one. First, it is geographically rare since this species is endemic to the Eriza or Mediterranean heathland from the uh, southwestern Iberian Peninsula and Tingitanian Peninsula in the northwesternmost tip of Africa. It is associated to acid, nutrient-poor soils and to a mild Mediterranean climate with a marked Atlantic influence. The Strait of Gibraltar region harbors the highest density of Drosophilum lusitanicum populations. Nevertheless, to find them, we mustn't look here, but here, since this is a post-fire dwelling species. Secondarily, it also occurs in chronically disturbed habitats such as roadside slopes, quarries, or fire breaks, always on acid, infertile soils. Due to their leaf modifications to trap insects, carnivorous plants are tremendous water wasters with a low photosynthetic efficiency. This is why they almost invariably found in waterlogged habitats where soil water is readily available. Drosophilum, by contrast, despite its leaves being covered by uh, mucilage droplets, thrives on dry soils, what makes it ecologically rare. It does it due to having a relatively strong taproot and to the presence of free sugars and sugar alcohols dissolved in the mucilage droplets, increasing their surface tension and hygroscopicity, allowing them to take water from the night dew and frequent mists. Drosophilum is also rare from a, a taxonomic or phylogenetic point of view, since it belongs in a family, Drosophilaceae, which only has one representative species. Drosophilum lusitanicum. Nutrition on prey insects in Drosophilum is accomplished thanks to the contribution of two kinds of glands, a set of complex extract or pedunculate glands secreting the acreous mucilage and a set of sessile glands secreting digestive enzymes. Mucilage droplets produce a particular scent, sort of a sweet garbage, that attracts prey insects, mainly diptera, small to medium-sized flies, but also moths in the Lepidoptera order and lacewings in the Neuroptera. Mucilage droplets adhere to the insect body, coating it and finally exhausting it to death. Then, digestive enzymes degrade the animal body and the leaves absorb the resulting essential nutrients through both glands. Drosophilum is strictly carnivorous. In the glass house, growth was severely limited when they were not supplied with prey insects, even though soil was fertilized. Drosophilum, like the rest of carnivorous plants, feeds on insects, but it is also dependent on insects for reproduction. What would happen if a carnivorous plant trapped also its pollinating insects? At first, it would get a higher nutrient supply than another plant that did not trap them, but it would compromise its reproductive success. In carnivorous plant ecology, this is known as the pollinator-prey conflict. To avoid such conflict, most carnivorous plants separate conspicuously leaf traps from flowers, but not Drosophila. In spite of that, Drosophilum discriminates soundly its pollinators from its prey insects. How does it manage? First, we shall pay attention to its flowers. The yellow and showy corolla, despite being composed of five free petals, is funnel-shaped, reducing the risk of accidental fall of pollinating insects. 
but the key factor may be in the scent signals produced by the plant to discriminate pollinating and prey insects. Drosophyllum flowers and leaves emit different scents. Flower ones, mostly alkanes, attract mainly coleoptera, main pollinators in this species. Leaf scents are mostly aldehydes, fatty acids, and cyclic esters, and they attract mainly diptera, neuroptera, and moths. Drosophilum lusitanicum certainly is one of the rarest plants on Earth, not only by being carnivorous, but also, and more importantly, by being rare among all carnivorous plants. It is an endemic, ecologically peculiar, and phylogenetically unique species. It is a rare, rare, rare species. In spite of that, Drosophilum is included in the Spanish plant species red list only as almost threatened, and it is not yet listed in the European red list. This species is strongly associated to the Eriza or Mediterranean heathland, a unique habitat of great biodiversity value which has been neglected or undervalued until relatively recent times. We hope that Drosophilum will contribute to the conservation of the Herrita so that this habitat can protect Drosophilum against extinction, which would mean not just the loss of a species, but the loss of an entire plant family.